All right, what's up, everybody? I'm Jordan, and today I'm going to be explaining to you how to get the Persona 3 FES HD mod uh, installed. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download the Amulus Package Manager. I'll have the link in the description. So you want to download it. Once it's downloaded, you'll have a folder with the Amulus Package Manager. So that's fine. Next. I can't tell you how to legally get it, but you're going to need a USA uh, Persona 3 FES um, ISO. I'm assuming you already have this, so, you know, I can't tell you how to get it legally, but, you know, that's how you get it. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to PCSX2 downloads. I'm, I'm going to have this link in the description as well, and you want to make sure that you get the nightly builds. The HD mod pack is, well, yeah, the mod, it's only... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You can only use it with uh the 64-bit AVX2 QT. This is the only one it's compatible with. That's what I'm looking for. So once that's downloaded, you're also going to need to supply your own BIOS files if you don't know how to do that. There will be other videos. I also can't legally tell you how to do that. So uh, just Google search and you'll be fine. So once you have everything uh, downloaded, you want to go to the ISO. And you can use 7-zip, WinRAR, whatever, but you're going to open it with uh, the, the RAR apps. And you see this file right here? You're going to make a new folder. Okay, new folder like so. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, but th this is the folder I made. That was just an example folder. So I made this folder. And then you're going to want to slide this or extract it into that folder. And once you do that, you're going to want to rename the file rename it it's going to look like this you're going to want to rename it to a dot elf all right it's going to make it a dot elf do not erase the the dot 21 do not erase that add on to it so add the dot elf okay so after you've done that you want to come in here and you want to open up amulus package i already have it open next you're going to go into this wheel right here and you're going to set the output folder to the folder that you put the .elf uh, file in. So mine was new wave, so that's the folder I use. Next, you're gonna wanna find the, the ISO. Find the ISO, mine was on my desktop. So I found it and I pressed open. You're gonna do the same thing with the ELF. You're gonna find the ELF in the folder, you're gonna click on it and you're gonna uh, open it. Then you're gonna press unpack base files, all right? And then it's gonna unpack, it's gonna extract all the base files, and then uh, you'll be good. It'll take a while, so don't worry, it'll let you know when it's done. Also, one more thing do not touch any of the other uh, browse folders, leave everything else blank. You don't need those for this mod. Next, you're gonna wanna actually go to the HD overhaul project page, and you're gonna scroll down here, scroll like so, scroll, 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 and you're gonna download. If for Windows, if you have Windows, this is a Windows tutorial, so if you need it for another um, operating software, they have a flowchart here or they have instructions. I'm on Windows, so I can only really do a video a tutorial for Windows. So yeah, you're gonna download the Windows one. Once that's downloaded, you're gonna have a 7z file or, or yeah, anything to unzip it. Then you're gonna wanna unzip it. It's gonna be this folder right here, okay? Then you're going to go into the basic package. Then you're going to want to open up the texture override. Okay, next go to your PCSX folder. And you're going to go to textures. Next, you're going to make a folder. You make a brand new folder. You're going to title it SLUS-21621. Okay, that's what you're going to title it. All right, I already have one here, so I'm not going to do that. No. Let's delete this. Okay. Then in that folder, you're going to make a new folder and you're going to title it replacements. Okay. It's going to be an empty folder. Once you get there, you're going to want to bring these. This is the texture override from the basic package. Make sure it's the basic package. Control A or just, you know, manually take everything and you're going to drag it into here. Okay. So once that's done, this is optional, but you can come into the colorful party panel, go to texture override, and then take all of these and also drag them in there. When you do that, let me show you guys. When you do that, it's gonna say replace the files in this destination. Yes, do that. 
do that. Okay? You can do the same thing for the the 2k pack. Okay, you're going to take all of these files, you're just going to drag them and drop them, and you're going to replace it. All right, so once you're all done with that, you're going to want to go into PC in your into your PCSX folder, open up PCSX. When you open up PCXX for the first time, it's going to ask you to get your BIOS files. So again, I can't legally distribute that, but you know, just search it up on Google, you'll find it. Now you want to go into settings and you want to go into graphics. Make sure your renderer is Vulkan. Next, you want to go into the rendering settings here and make sure your texture preloading is on full. Then you want to go on to texture replacement. Make sure load textures is checked and make sure async texture loading is checked. Do not check any other one, just those two. Next, you want to go into the emulation settings on the left side and make sure you enable host file system and enable cheats. Also enable widescreen patches and you should be good. Next, you want to come back to the PCSX folder and you're going to go into cheats underscore WS. Next. You want to make sure you have the host FS patch and the wide, and if you want, this is optional. This is the widescreen patch. So I'll have the links to both of these in the description, but this is how you get it. I'm going to send you guys a link to it. When you're on this screen, this is the host FS. You press control S and you save it by removing the .txt and you save it as a natch file. Okay. After you save it, just drag it into this folder. I also have a link for the widescreen uh, pnatch, so you're just going to download it and you're also going to do the same thing, just drag it into that folder. Next, what you want to do is you want to open the .natch file and when you get it, it's going to look like this. Let me just, here, I'll delete it real quick and I'm going to re-download it. The .txt, enter. Yes, we're going to replace it. All right, you want to drag it into here. Okay, so it's going to look like this for you. You open it, and the zero X's, you replace the X with a zero. There's going to be two of them. You replace the X with a zero. That should be all of them. Okay, great. Save. Next thing you want to do is you want to go back to the, to the PCSX2, start file, and you're going to locate your ELF file. So mine was in the folder called New Wave. So this is the L file, you're going to open it, and nothing's going to happen. It's just going to be a black screen. Let it sit there for, you know, maybe 5, 10 seconds. And then once that's done, you sh once that's done, you shut it down. Yes. And then you locate the ISO, which is also on my desktop. Locate the ISO. Open it up. And... It might take a little bit of a while to load. And there you go. For some reason, my OBS isn't showing this part, but okay, here we go. All right, once you're on the game, load it up, and there you go. Mod installed. So this is how this looks, and just for comparison's sake, Just to compare, this is how the regular game looks. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't look as good. It's, you know, it's not widescreen. It's a little blurry. You could tell that it's dated, but the other game looks perfect. That's going to do it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section, and I can either make a video where I actually restart the entire... Um, I can do a video where I restart the entire process and just do it from scratch if that's necessary. But I think, uh, you know, just the little bit of visuals and words should be fine enough. Uh, if you're interested, I just finished playing Persona 4 Golden. I had the entire playthrough and I'm starting the Persona 3 FES playthrough uh, now, today, on stream. So all my links will be down in the description. Leave a like if it helped out and see you next time.